Okay, there's just a couple of things that I want to wrap up from chapter one that I uh, sort of had in the back of my mind, and I want to get to them right now. Okay, to go back to the Galileo experiment, uh, we did this before, and you see that <coughs> the 500 gram mass lands much, much, much quicker than the sheet of paper. But, Watch this. Does it have to do with the paper, or the mass of the paper, or the weight of the paper, or something along those lines? What it really has to do is it has to do with the shape of the paper. Because when I take the paper and I make it into a ball that's more aerodynamic, it basically drops at the exact same time as a 500 gram mass. Now, one other thing that I want to talk about in terms of units. I said that I am approximately 150 pounds, and that I can take that and I can say one kilogram is 2.2 pounds, and that makes me approximately 68 kilograms. Now, earlier I also said that a good example of a one kilogram mass is one liter of water. So one liter of H2O is approximately, it's pretty close to one kilogram. Now, in terms of density, we also talked about density. The density of me is approximately equal to the density of water. When I go swimming, if I let all my breath out, collapse down my lungs as much as I can, I sink. If I take a big breath of air, I float. Somewhere in the middle, I'm pretty much neutrally buoyant. So my density is approximately the same as the density of water. So if one liter of water has a mass of one kilogram, then if I'm 68 kilograms and I'm the same density of water, I should be, my volume, should be approximately 68 liters. And it just so happens that if you go to a local hardware store and you get sort of a standard tote, this tote, it's a, it's a, it says right here that it is 18 gallons or it is 68.2 liters. So, what you don't really think about, volume, you, you really don't think about how shape and volume are related, but this tote right here and myself have the same volume. So, although it's not quite a pleasant thought, you could take me and if you could shape me so that my bones would fit in here and I could actually fold in on myself, I could fit inside of this box. Uh, pretty, most people don't really think about that, but if you see like contortionists or something like that, rock climbers and cavers are actually really, really good at that. People who go exploring caves are actually fantastically good at getting themselves in and through very, very small spaces. Last thing I want to say is the definition of one liter is, is 10 to the third cubic centimeters. And it is 10 to the negative third cubic meters. 
So it is one liter is halfway sort of between cubic centimeters and cubic meters. One liter is 10 to the third cubic centimeters and 10 to the negative third cubic meters. That's that random lecture.